Hey guys, welcome back to Map 19, The Citadel. Let's play Doom 2. I'm all to my Mantoid, and I kind of like this map for its unique uh, style. Lob some windows into the, or lob some windows into the rockets. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to throw windows into some rockets. Absolutely. I've already done this map a few times, so... It's just trying to make sure everything dies in this map that's the difficult part. Alright, we're going to take the path on the left first. Throw some more rockets into that window up there. Flip that switch, run through here, and open this door to find one of the two areas that I threw rockets into from the start. That switch will open this door so you can get out. And as you noticed, where did these imps come from? Well, I will show you. All right. As soon as everything stops closing. All right. Flip that switch. Open this door. As you run through, this will trigger this door to open. Now, pay attention. See those steps way out there? Now, here's the first secret. Hey, I didn't say you could run all the way back down the steps. Either way, we have our first key of the map. And we're going to take the teleporter. Yeah. Alright, grab the Berserker pack. And step onto this platform. And it, if it doesn't immediately take you up, just stay still for a moment. It will eventually lift you up. Let's snipe out a few of these demons here. Alright. Grab the BFG. And, you know, once they all die, come around this area, kill all those imps. Those imps are the ones that were in that uh, area with the first uh, key, so we'll come to them in a moment. And remember, there's those steps again. Like I said, this whole map is just complicated and... But once you actually figure out where you're going, it's not too bad. Here's another secret. Walk in here. Don't worry about the blur artifact, the blur sphere. Open that up. And, hey, wait a second. What are you doing here? You're going to die. I don't know what you're doing here, but that's not where you're supposed to be. Alright, open this and run through to get the... Hey, wait a second! That's not fair! Make sure you shoot that wall, by the way. Because if you shoot that wall, it raises that platform up. Which, if you get stuck down there, will lower that platform. Now, I remember as a kid doing this one, and getting in this room and falling off, and not knowing how to get up. So, I ended up being stuck. But, you can flip the switch on that side of the platform without ever actually, you know, having raised it, so. Make a beeline for that switch, which lowers two weapon caches. Grab a medikit, and... Alright, so we've been through this side, but we're not quite done with it yet. There is one more set of secrets. One here. Lower the elevator and take it up. And then one here. Now, there's those steps that I kept pointing out earlier. Make a leap of faith all the way over there into another secret. And my mouse twitched on me, but that's okay. 
you want to handle this part rather quickly because you get these guys. And my mouse is really twitching. I don't know why. But either way, this area in here is a secret. And as soon as you can, run under it, but don't let it crush you. Ignore the imps. Take the ladder up the stairs. Alright, now. Ignore the imps again. Except this time we're going to go over here. And we're going to pick up the invulnerability. And of course you can kill the stragglers that don't get killed by the BFG or the rockets easy. So Now, while we're still invulnerable, I'm going to hop down here. Of course, this doesn't hurt. It's just water. But this resembles our map. We have the southwestern corner of the map, the northwestern corner of the map, the northeastern corner of the map, and the southeastern corner of the map. And this will teleport us to the courtyard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the teleporter to the northeast because honestly I don't really know how to go about uh, getting up here without this teleporter so I will actually come back and I'll show you one other one because and of course anyway I think that up there is a secret so I don't know what this yeah see I don't know what this does it does something though for sure Either way, we have all three keys. So, we're going to go this way now. There's still a little bit of the map left to go, actually, even though we have all, all three keys. And see, there's the other one from the start of the map, so... Alright, open this. Is it it's kind of a hidden door. Now, here's something that you don't see used very often in Doom. Keep trying to flip this switch, and you'll see why here in a second. Notice, every time you flip it, it goes up. See? The same with the switch on this side, but it opens something different. Or raises something different, rather. See that platform down there? On about the fourth one, maybe. You can do it on the fifth one, too. But you want to hop down there and land on the platform, if you can, by avoiding these demons. Just sort of kind of make a rush. Of course, if you do fall, I'll come back and revisit this room so I can show you. But guess what? We got the supercharge that we couldn't get earlier. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just awesome? Alright, so let's... You know what, I should have used that opportunity to go back and show you what happens or how to get the rocket launcher in this map, really. Which I guess I can go ahead and do. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit longer on the video, but whatever. Alright, run and run carefully. Don't let the crushing ceiling get you run under. Now we're going to take the center one. Rocket launcher. Ignore them. Let's go back this way. Hey, I didn't say you could come out and do anything. Now, willingly fall down here. This is what happens if you uh, don't make it. You just get taken out here. And that is actually the entire map. So let's go to the exit. Now here's the thing. You only need two keys to finish the, this map, but I wanted to show how to get all three keys. 
So if you needed them for any reason, you knew how to get them. And I'll prove it. Red key and yellow key. Look, I have completely bypassed a blue key. You can do it the other way around, too. Of course, that doesn't open for some reason, but whatever. And with that, we're done with the Citadel. This map is rather big, rather lengthy, rather complicated, and confusing, and it's easy to get lost here. But, it's a freaking castle! You can't tell me that a map that is modeled after a castle isn't cool. I mean, it's not modeled after a real castle, obviously, but it's modeled after, like, a fort. I mean, obviously, it's the Citadel, so it's modeled after, you know, a fortification of some sorts. A lot of little intricate secrets and lots of different ways to get wherever you need to go. It's kind of nice. Um, unlike Tenements, obviously. Tenements is just annoyingly done, and it's not cool, and it's bland. This is actually a little bit interesting, mostly because of the stage design. I mean, you have the four corners of the actual citadel in the courtyard. Each corner, you know, has... I mean, each corner is kind of unique and special in its own way. So... Then the, and it's not really a hard map, other than, you know, maybe the Imp Room, but that's only because if you don't expect it, the crushing ceiling will get you. I mean, especially if you're just going, ah, run gung-ho in there, squish. But yeah, that's the Citadel, and the next map is Gotcha. That's an awful odd name for a map. Huh. wonder why they call it that. Hmm. I guess we'll find out in the next one. Till then, though, I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Doom 2. Till next time, take care, and have fun.